Okay, I think without further ado, I think we'll make a start. Um, it's just after four. Um, so I just wanted to begin with a warm welcome to everyone uh, for joining us. This is our very first virtual event at Street League. What could possibly go wrong? I hear you cry. Well, we're hoping nothing at all. Um, so I'm absolutely delighted to say we've got six young people that are joining us. That is Aaron and Taylor are joining us from Paisley, which is just outside Glasgow. We've got Tamina and Sophia in Birmingham. And we've got Mason and Georgia from London. So um, amazing they can join us and take time just to share their experiences. Probably like all of you, Street League has certainly learned an awful lot in the last 12 weeks. Um, we have moved all of our services, 36 local communities, from being in our academies that many of you have had a chance to visit, where we work in group sessions, one-to-one -one activity, and obviously always wrapping around that sport and physical activity. Um, Thankfully, we've been able to, I suppose, recreate that sense of community, that support for young people, um, thanks to all of your support and the commitment of so many different people who we'll touch on. Um, as we get to August, September, youth unemployment um, will significantly change. Uh, Street League uh, has a, a great job uh, and it's a privilege to help young people that are out of work find work. Um, and the transition from school to work is, is a key transition and, and we uh, we think that being there every single day uh, to help those young people uh, is, is a key thing and we're very proud of the fact that we've been here since the start of lockdown and, and can continue to do so. Um, thank you for, for being with us uh, over the years uh, and thank you to those of you that have given us uh, additional uh, COVID crisis funding that has been put to good use um, and that money has reached the front line as quickly mm -hmm. as we possibly get it there. Um, thank you for the flexibility and that support. Um, and allowing us to develop our organisation previously, but also at this point to, to pivot and change it and, and meet demand. Um, thanks to our partners and organisations from the third sector that are on here. Um, we work with, with hundreds across the UK and the signposting and referrals and the conversations that have been live over the last three months have been vital to helping people that are, that are most in need. Um, you have joined the, um, the breakout room for Birmingham. So we're going to hear a little bit more about um, what life is locked in lock what life is like in lockdown from young people and our staff in Birmingham. So I'm gonna pass over to Anna. And the first question and Sophia, I'm gonna to come to you if you don't mind first. Um Fine. what does home look like for you at the moment? Home is where my family is. We've been spending a lot of time together and lockdown has brought us all a lot more closer. So could you just talk a little bit about what you've been doing with Street League whilst you've been in lockdown? Yeah, of course, I've learned a lot about CVs, cover letters, improving on interviews and yeah, all, all of these techniques, I, I've definitely learned a lot. <laughs> I think being at home has made me realise how badly I want a job. Okay, Tamina, um, would you like to explain um, how, uh, when you first started the Street League at the back end of 2019, how finding a job would, or the thought of finding a job would have made you feel? Yeah, I wouldn't have wanted a job. I I was really bad at like uh, working with people and I was too shy and nervous. So I thought an interview is never going to happen. Neither would like, finding a job. But it's like, now I think I've gained more confidence and I'm able to um, you know, do an interview, do interviews and hopefully find a job. Brilliant, I can hear you now, mate. So I'm just going to start with a uh... What's the what's your home life been like? Um, where are you living just now? Uh, in the house, my mum, my dad, and my brother. Good stuff. Good stuff. How's it been? Um, kind of just obviously been locked down and that. What's it been like? It's not been the easiest, but like we've got through it. Like it's the same for everybody. It's not just me. It's the same as everybody else. That like, we're all gonna have to do it. That's nice. cool. Right. Last Taylor, uh, what are you looking forward to most when lockdown finishes? Definitely playing football again. Good man, good man. Getting back into training, mate. Hopefully, mate, I can start on that and come back to yeah. college. That's good news. Yeah, so thanks, Nigel, and hi, everyone. Um, so, yeah, I feel this person is uh, really enthusiastic about sport and football in particular, um, and that kind of mirrors street league's enthusiasm for sport and how it can change the lives of young people. 
Um, he's currently the manager of the best team in the world. I say that without any bias at all. Um, and he's soon to be Premier League champion, and it is Jurgen Klopp. A little bit of background to that news. I mean, um, I shouldn't be so presumptuous that everybody knows who Jurgen Klopp is. So um, this, I don't know if you can see that. I don't know if that will help. That might just uh, click for a few people below. We were absolutely delighted. And um, without exaggerating, he's probably one of the biggest names, um, certainly in football management, but in football globally at the moment. Um, I probably can't disagree with Richard. They are about to lift the uh, Premier League trophy for the first time in 30 years. But they're also Champions League um, title holders. And Jürgen is a, a very inspirational new breed of manager. And to have him supporting Street League is quite incredible. Um, so we're, we're really over the moon. The connection came through Common Goal. Uh, for those of you that don't know, that's an organisation that was set up two or three years ago that really encourages players and managers to give a percentage of their salary towards good causes, and particularly good causes around football and sport globally. Um, so you can imagine from the choice that Jürgen had, the fact that he picked out Street League, um, we were absolutely blown away. Um, so it's been really fantastic. And, um, he's a very genuine guy, got a great smile and a real care for people. So it feels for us a real privilege to have him as a supporter. But um, yeah, in the meantime, thank you. Thank you for all your support. Um, take care and keep safe. Goodbye.